what they're doing today is uh, basically we got the car now all in the paint shop and we've uh, put some layers of filler on it uh, and we're basically trying to match up all the panels uh, make sure they are in line with each other flush and um, yeah basically just making sure everything's running how we've designed it basically looking for a nice curve and then you're just looking for some wobbles in it really so so like here we found out it was a uh, kind of high there's a bump in the in the line so sometimes it happens when you uh, you know overfill and then you sand you know so it's just happened. Uh, now we just basically uh, get a block of sand and just sand it down back down to the tape basically Volvo Cars president Stephen O'Dell tells us that he immediately felt that this car had that little extra that is so extremely important when a concept car is to be unveiled for the first time. Well, I mean, it's a beautiful thing to look at as a piece of art, but I love it more not just because it's a great concept car, because it offers the promise of how we can take our design and modern Scandinavian design forward, and we have to deliver on that promise. What I want every Volvo to look like, you must, must know it's a Volvo, but you've got to have, first thing you've got to see is that's a beautiful car. I want it, wow, it's a Volvo. Choosing the right color for a concept car is extraordinarily important. The color must not only draw attention and stand out from the crowd, it must also strengthen the car's identity. This paintwork is a work of the very highest order. In total, seven different coats of undercoat, top coat, and clear varnish are used before the car has its distinctive nuance. The choice of color finally fell to a bronze-like color that has been called warm liquid copper. We want to provoke a little bit on one side, but we also took a color which we found to be very Scandinavian. Uh, if you look at the rock formations, you look at the summer light, and this very sort of coppery glow that you see there from the sunlight, we wanted to bring into the vehicle, but at the same time giving it a real metal feeling. So we've gone for a liquid metal appearance, uh, but with this warm copper tone, which is also, if you look at it out there in the fashion world, if you look at it in the architectural world, it's one of these in colors at the moment. You have a very colorful exterior and together with an interior that is very neutral. It, it's always interesting to make these contrasts. The final spurt with such a project is almost always somewhat chaotic. There's never enough time. For two weeks, they have worked frantically to assemble all the parts. There have been certain problems with the steering of the automatic doors, which has delayed the final assembly. But even so, Alex is calm and optimistic. I mean, we've only got like one more week left to finish the car and uh, now we have the uh, front bumper on the car. Hand laps have gone in, you know, grill, uh, all the details. So, you know, you saw in the paint shop, we've sorted a lot of the exterior problems out. I think that right now there's more issues with interior than, than exterior, but, you know. So we, we have a little bit more, more room to breathe at the moment. <laughs> so. It's a very exciting time because when you work digitally like we do here with this whole process, the actual car we only really see in its final form when the car's complete. So seeing this build-up process, more and more of the elements coming in, getting the interior in the car, I mean everyone is thrilled every time. It's coming together great and uh, we're really looking forward to seeing the final finished build. The 
S60 concept is now complete and ready. 16,000 man hours over a 24 week period. That is what was required to build this car. In total, some 100 people have been involved in this building project. But quite a bit of work remains before the car can be displayed. Many hours of photography, filming, and the production of press materials still await. Under a cloak of secrecy, the car is moved to a photo studio inside Volvo's factory area. Steve Matten, who for the first time is now able to see the car in the right light, is very happy with the result. I feel absolutely fantastic now. I mean, just looking at the car behind me, what a wonderful job, a great car, and, and a credit then to the whole team who have put this together. If you look at it, you can obviously see the Volvo, that's the important thing. But we've really tried to take our DNA to the next level. Um, the introduction now of modern Scandinavian design, really promoted in all aspects here. You can see the, the connection to the past, the do not abandon approach, the vertical front end, the V-shape, the shoulder. But everything has a new interpretation now. Well, this car's interior contains many many new interesting shapes that we will see in future Volvo interiors. It also um, explores what we can do with different materials, like the copper, the way that we use wood in this car, and the, also the way that we use leather on the seat in this car. That, um, to me, is examples of totally new solutions, solutions that have a lightweight appearance, solutions that even have an environmental friendly appearance. Enormous skill and experience of all those involved is required to achieve the goals in a project such as this. It is in fact a huge achievement to develop and produce a completely new car in such a short time. It's in a process uh, which uh, took us uh, nine months in total, which was divided actually in three uh, different phases. The design phase, the, uh, followed by the engineering phase, and then later on the manufacturing. It's the middle of the night, right in the heart of Volvo cars in Sweden. So far, only a few people have seen the car. In an empty old paint shop, the film team is building up the stage set. The film is going to be used at the Motor Show in Detroit just before the car is revealed. The director, Tobias Grassell, wants to create a feeling of secrecy and exclusiveness. Uh, it will be kind of a dramatic film, uh, since we don't want to show the car too much before the launch. That would sort of defeat the purpose of the launch. Uh, we're just trying to give a hint of what it might look like. So, uh, a lot of shadows, a lot of playing with lights and uh, light streaks, etc. Et Utmärkt! Varsågoda! Now we have to repair the damage we've done each time we drive on the floor. After several hectic nights of filming, Tobias Grissel and the team are finally satisfied with the results. All in all, yeah, really good. Really good, I think. 